What's up guys, Matacaster here, and today we find ourselves back in Gold Rush. Time for some Tier 3 mining. I've been running some uh, dirt through this thing, uh, probably for the bat. It, it's pretty quick. Um, these mats fill up pretty quick. I'm already at, like, nah, right, roughly around 60% total. And might as well get back to it. Let's see what... The, I have not had a clean out yet on this, so I'm excited to see how many ounces we get out of one clean out of this thing. Uh, as you can see, we're a little bit in debt, $2,589, so we will have to sell a little bit of ore to be able to melt anything down, but that's not a big deal. Done it before, no big deal. Um, that's part of the part of the deal when you take out a bank loan. I took out a small loan, uh, as you saw in the last one, to finally get everything we need for the Tier 3 mining. Um, we've got the upgraded trommel. Uh, it's the middle tier trommel. Um, I did use the hog pans down here just to catch that, that little bit that these uh, duplex jigs are going to miss. We've got our generator. I do have the conveyor along with the uh, conveyor hopper thing there. So basically all I've been doing, um, I used the front end loader for a while. I wasn't totally crazy about it. I've gone back to using the excavator into the dump truck. It just works better for me. It's a little faster for me too uh, than dealing with the front end loader on this. It, it's you know, sloping ground. So trying to get the front end loader to cooperate and get into that. It just, it was kind of a pain. So I've gone back to the excavator and from there, we're just going to start loading up the dump truck. This is why I like this conveyor, because it's just as simple as just backing up to the hopper. Just dumping it all in. It does all the work for you. This thing takes a lot of fuel. I think I'm going to have to get one of those, the big fuel thing and then you get fuel deliveries. I think that's definitely going to have to be the next purchase. Using a lot of fuel around here. Funny how that works once you get tons of equipment out here. I love the startup suite sequence though. You just one after another. That is just so cool. We're getting close. 90%, 91%. We've got 89% down there. 100% in the hog pans, but I'm not too worried about that. Go ahead and run these up to probably about 100%. I just get a kick out of sitting here staring at this thing work. It's just so awesome. We're pretty much there. We're getting... We're getting 99% up there. 94, 95. I think we could do one more and then we, we call it and we do a clean out. I am stoked to see what this clean out's gonna be. The final dump. <laughs> the final dump. Uh, according to the gold map, I'll show you where we were digging. We were right, this was all lit up with the, uh, you know, it said plenty of gold in this area. So we were digging on a good spot. So hopefully, Plenty of gold is what we've got. I think it's time to find out. I was digging down here, not paying attention up here. That would have hurt. All right. Yeah, everything's ticking over to almost 100. I think that's good. We're gonna let the rest of that process through as soon as these boulders stop coming out and just kind of let it settle out and see what we get. We've got hundreds all up here. Got 99 there, I'm sure that's about to change. We've got hundreds in the bucket, hundreds in the hundred percent in the hog pan. Yeah, this is gonna be good. I feel it. This is gonna be awesome. 
All right, gonna shut down the wash plant. It's easy enough. You can just hit that one button there. I'm gonna shut it down for now. I know I'm gonna have to come back here and turn it on for the wave table. Not a big deal. I'm gonna leave this on because I've got to fill some buckets with some water. But I might as well put some fuel in it. No, you know what? I can't leave that on because that wouldn't let me clean out the sluice boxes or the hog pan. Okay, we got our buckets here from the duplex jigs and all of our hog pan mats and miner's moss collected. Now, what I'm going to try to do is unplug this hose here and see if it'll reach over to the wave table. And we're in luck. And then I can use this hose over here to fill buckets full of water to clean these, clean these out. I'm just gonna disconnect that and set it out, maybe. There we go, just kind of set it there for now. That'll work. I'm gonna go up here and disconnect the water pump from the wash plant just so it's not spraying water everywhere. Set you there, and then fire this guy up. Perfect. Now we have water to fill our buckets to clean out the miner's moss and the hog pan mats. And then use the wave table. Fill you full of water. I fill all these. I might need more buckets. Probably will, actually. Okay, here we go. Our first miner's moss. I'm going to set this over here so we know that we've used or we've cleaned that one out. Uh, I read that you only have to dump the, dunk these once. I think it used to be you could do it a couple of times, but now you only have to do it once. See, so if we try it again, it doesn't go again. This will be the last, last hog pan mat. And yeah, that's it. We got one bucket left over. So you only need five to clean out something that big. All right, guys. Here comes a moment of truth. I'm going to get all the buckets over here. I'm going to set these off to the side and see what the ounce difference is between uh, the ones that are cleaned out under the duplex jig and the ones that are from the miner's moss and hog pan mats. This one we'll just pour out real quick. We don't need, don't need that one. Just got water in it. All right, let's go in here, fire up the wave table. Let's see what we got. Okay, first bucket is out of the duplex jig. Let's see what we get. I guess I can put that back in the duplex jig. Seven ounces, eight ounces, nine ounces, 10, 11, 12, <laughs> 13, 13.3. Okay. 13.3 on out of that duplex jig. Let's see what the miner's moss and hog pan mats give us. Sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-eight. So yeah, it's about yeah, it's about the same. Nice. All right, guys. Final bucket. One hundred and eighty-eight point. 137 ounces so far that is huge will this get us over 200 ounces these uh using these hog pans down here really pays off because that one that got us to 188 oh two 212 these are the ones from the hog pan so you it really does help to use that 220 230 240.161 ounces and one clean out of this guy that's the way to do it. 
That is fantastic. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of gold, folks. That is a lot of gold. What do you say we go see what we get for it? Melt it down. Of course, we got to sell a little bit of ore because we're in debt. Sell a little bit of the ore just to cover the debt and then melt the rest of it. We'll have a big old gold bar. So yeah, let's do that and I'll see you guys in town. Oh yeah, you can't refuel when you're broke. <laughs> Let's go sell the ore. All right, we're gonna have to sell a little ore just to be able to afford to smelt or melt the rest of it. So sell ore. I mean, that, that right there is gonna give us 7,473. How much are we in debt? We are in debt two or $9,218. Oh, sell ore. We'll go ahead and bump this up to, oh man, it really jumps, doesn't it? From 10 to 18. We'll do 15,000 in ore. So now we have 6,449 bucks. We can afford to melt a massive gold bar. We're gonna lose 20 ounces. Oh well. Melt the gold, look at that. Fantastic. Let's go see what that's worth. Old man Arnold's going to be happy about this. He is going to take a huge cut. Okay, moment of truth. How much is this gold bar worth? A <laughs> quarter of a million dollars almost. Oh, yeah sell well we're definitely in the black so that's going to add up quick if each clean out is worth over a quarter of a million dollars we'll be tier four and tier five mining before too long that's for sure I'm thinking this guy is in order before too long because that'd be nice just to send everything up. That's almost, that's 400 and what was that? $462,000. But all I'd have to do is drop, you know, drop it there up with the excavator. This thing will take it all the way up to the hopper. This is definitely coming soon. Need that. And from what I understand is once you buy this, then you can get fuel delivered and it just, they just deliver it to you. It'd be great to have that because then I can just pull up to this and refuel whatever or use the trailer and go around and refuel stuff. All right, guys, we made it back to our... Uh... Made it back to our claim, and with that being said, I think I think that's going to do it for this one. I know it was a shorter one, but that's really all I wanted to accomplish was get one good clean out on this, see what I'd get, and I am pleasantly surprised. And the next one, we'll continue doing this. Um, probably, well, we might move move to the other spot on the gold map. There's a, a nice spot back there. But in the meantime, I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know if you uh, if you like Gold Rush. Leave a thumbs up and. Uh, that's if it's so long as I want to keep playing it, I'll keep making videos of it if you guys dig it. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. And if you guys have any tips or tricks, things that might be able to help me out, can you leave it in the comments section? I definitely appreciate it because I'm just learning as I go. So any tips or tricks or anything you have that you know of that's not cheating, uh, I definitely appreciate it.